This is an easy tutorial on how to do the crunch stitch. I'm going to be using a four millimeter hook and some cotton yarn size three. So for this stitch, you want to start with a foundation chain that's a multiple of two plus one for the base chain. So in my case, I have 13 chains. Now for row one, you want to skip the first two chains, which will count as a half double crochet. Now you're going to start your row repeat. So after you've skipped the first two chains, you're going to do one slip stitch to begin your row repeat. Onto the next chain, you're going to do one half double crochet. And this is the repeat you want to follow. Very simple. One slip stitch, one half double crochet. All the way to the end of the row. So I'm going to do that and I will see you at the end of the row. I'm at the end of the row here. I have two chains left. So you should be ending with uh, on the second to last with a half double crochet. And on the very last chain, you're going to do a slip stitch. And this is the end of row one. For row two, you want to start with a chain two. This chain two counts as a half double crochet. And now you want to flip your work. So you're going to skip that first stitch and onto the second one, you're going to do one slip stitch. This here begins the row repetition, that slip stitch. Now onto the next stitch, you're going to do a half double crochet. And that is your row repeat. Essentially, this slip stitch is going on top of the half double crochet from the previous row. And the half double crochet is going into the slip stitch from the previous row. So you want to do this all the way till the end of the row. So I'm at the end of the row here. And I've got two stitches left. I've got the turning chain and a slip stitch. So I'm going to do my very second to last as a half double crochet. And my last slip stitch is going to go into the turning. Oh, sorry. My last slip stitch is going to go into the turning chain there. So I'm going to go into here and do a slip stitch to finish row two. So that's important. Remember that the last slip stitch is going to go onto the turning chain. And that's the end of row two. Moving forward, you want to repeat row two until you have your desired width or length. Um, and I'll show you what that looks like. And this is the finished swatch of the crunch stitch. It actually makes sense. The name makes sense. If you make it, you'll understand. It's like crunchy. So the combination between slip stitch and half double crochet kind of elevates it and gives it this crunch. Subscribe. Thank you.